Good afternoon, crafters. Firstly, apologies for the little hiccup at the start. For whatever reason, I couldn't get the live streams to connect properly. So um, here we are. <laughs> Finally made it. Uh, if you don't know me already, my name is Hannah Roxbury and I am the brand ambassador for Carnation Crafts. And this afternoon, we are bringing you a Facebook show dedicated to the brand new launch of a new crafter select. If you're not familiar with crafter select, I will run that through with you guys as well. And we'll be going through not only the die, but also bringing you a demonstration featuring this brand new die set as well. Just because there was a little bit of a hiccup at the start, I will give it a little bit longer than normal, just so that everyone who wants to watch this live can find us and do so. And I understand obviously we are on an earlier time as well, um, rather than the later time in the afternoon. I can see a couple of people joining us already, so thank you for finding us. We've got Christine and June. Becky's here, as well as Vera. Barbara's here too. Yes, yeah, sorry Barbara. <laughs> internet you know what it's like modern technology it doesn't always mix so well does it uh, jenny pam susan susan says hi all the crafters out there from very cold Wagner regis yeah it is chilly today luckily it is beautiful sunshine but it is really really windy here at the moment um hopefully it's all, all okay where you guys are um so this afternoon, we're going to be taking you through the brand new uh, die set, Crafter Select. It is called Devoted Gardener, and it is designed as a standalone die within its own right. Um, and it features this lovely Lady Gardener, which I know you guys have been asking for, been hankering after for such a long while. Um, what it also works very beautifully with is... Um, previous collections as well so things like um wild garden that launched back in i think it was end of november get, beginning of december whereby you've got a whole um story around um beautiful gardens and gardeners tending those gardens now they could be allotments they could be things uh, like your garden at home perhaps you're a devoted gardener perhaps you know someone who is a devoted gardener also lots and lots of things there you can mix and match them with but they can also work with other collections too for example um i've seen some lovely examples made by the the design team thank you design team um, from things like Peace and Quiet, which is a really lovely collection, which we'll be, be bringing back to air on Monday on Create and Craft. Um, I can see lots of people joining us already. Uh, Teresa says, I'm here cleaning done, down for a cup of Hello Hannah. Oh, fabulous. I love that. I love it, you know, when you get a nice tidy house and you can sit down for five minutes and enjoy a cup of tea. Although at the moment, our cups of tea are not very hot. <laughs> Also, also drunken snatches in between looking after the baby, bless him. Uh, Sue's here. We've got Karen as well. Uh, Susan says, uh, hi, Hannah. Thought I'd lost you. Yeah, sorry. That was that was apologies. That was my end. It was um, just internet troubles, I'm afraid. So hopefully the stream will keep going. Just reading through um, all the details. Lots of people saying they've already jumped on and got the Crafter Select die. And do you know what? Today is the best day to do that. We're launching the Devoted Gardener at a special deal of the day price. Um, deal of the day, as the name would suggest, is a special offer that runs for 24 hours. You can find it on our website, carnationcrafts.co.uk. If you head to our website, you really can't miss the deal of the day page. On every single page, there is a pink banner at the top that says, look for the deal of the day. Click on that and it will take you to the deal of the day. There is also a red um, tab on the navigation bar, which says deal of the day. You can click on that and it will take you through to today's offer. Today's offer being the Crafter Select brand new Devoted Gardener die set. So this code for this die set is 211045. That's 211045. Of course, we do have artwork available to download to complement this particular die set as well. And you'll be seeing that when we start working within the demonstration. Um, Crafter Select are a really interesting range of dies that we bring you on our website. They are web exclusives, okay? So they launch first on our website. They are designed to either match in with previous collections to sort of um, add a little expansion to your, your previous collections, or they are there as a little bit of humour. In this instance, as we've mentioned, this uh, Devoted Gardener will work so beautifully with your wild garden, even uh, Garden Safari, you know, things like that. We've mentioned Peace and Quiet as well. This particular die set is priced at $12.99 usually, but as today's special launch deal of the day offer price, it has 23% off 
for 24 hours only making it 9.99 so head on over and place your orders i know the team are on the feed thank you team um and they are already picking and packing and sending these out to you so we look forward to seeing what you create with these as well um amanda says hi hannah from a sunny seat and crow crew sorry if i pronounced that wrong uh, sue says afternoon hannah i've just ordered and i think the carnation team have just gone back to you sue and said yep received and packed for you a winky face um another customer here june says the service from carnation crafts is absolutely brilliant i placed two orders this morning and they are already on their way thank you everyone yeah i can se second those sentiments there the the team over in the warehouse are amazing people and they really do their level best to pick pack and ship as quickly as possible so you can have these dies ready with you to craft with as well june says i had to get the wheelbarrow die too yeah june there was a lovely um social post shared by one of the dt featuring the devoted garden a really nice paired back simple design but very very effective and that wheelbarrow features as part of the peace and quiet collection uh, which as i mentioned i will be demoing on air on create and craft on monday this coming monday um, I'm just going to check out any questions coming in, make sure I'm not missing anything. And then I think, should we have a little look at a demo with this one? I think we should. Um, oh. Yeah, Margaret's just emailed in it and said a lot of people having a job to connect to your Facebook page, Hannah. It's not my Facebook page. Apologies. It is uh, the Carnation Crafts page. It's not people having an issue. It was my fault. I started the stream, but it wouldn't uh, load properly. So I had to end the original stream and then restart it. I've checked all the logs and everything, and it looks like it is streaming again in the events. When I mention the events, um, it is always best if you are on the Facebook page, take a look at the events section because we do try and update that with all the upcoming uh, Facebook shows. And what you can do is mark yourself as going to those shows and you will receive a notification as and when we go live, which will help you uh, locate those streams. I can only apologise. It was my error this morning. So sorry about that, everyone. Don't forget also you can watch these back at any time. We do upload them to Facebook afterwards and we also um, upload them to YouTube as well, our YouTube channel um lots and lots of people have already got hold of this die should we take a look at it shall we have a look let's just change that camera view then so here you go you can already see i've got my little story planned out i have downloaded um the vignettes the colored artwork for um lots and lots of different elements from the wild garden collection to work alongside here she is our devoted gardener so you get it in the die form if i just switch that over you'll see you've got your decoupage layers in the sort of sun hat here and the plant pot and then you have this wonderful outline die which will work as a mat and layer if you want to use that as well when you print them off from our website again we have how to guides on how to download and print the vignettes the colored artwork when you cut her out and decoupage her up, here she is in all her glory. I love the colourways. I love this lovely sort of deep uh, maroon sort of purpley um, jumper she's got on. Obviously wellies and coordinating gloves. She looks very sophisticated, doesn't she, for, for a lady gardener. I love her in her overalls as well. So she is designed to work alongside her partner her husband her best friend there he is he's the keen gardener from the wild garden collection and you can already see with these kind of die cuts around we're building a story of this lady working perhaps in her her allotment perhaps a, i don't know maybe she's a volunteer for something like english heritage or national trust whereby um you, you have those wonderful gardens there it's all just sort of stories you can build into these designs so as i say we're going to be working with a few die cuts from the wild garden collection and we're going to be working on an eight by eight card blank uh, the papers that you see um the plain papers the solid colors here are from the perfect papers in the wild garden collection and the backing paper i've got which is a lovely sort of leafy backdrop is from the free to download backing papers um available for the wild garden collections so just head on over to the website and have a look for those as well 
eight by eight card blank. I wanted to keep it really, really simple because the idea with this is to kind of build almost like a scene um, whereby our gardeners um, and our new devoted gardener are going to be tending perhaps their allotment, all the gardens around their house um, and just build it up from there. So perhaps you've got someone in your life who is a devoted gardener or indeed a keen gardener. I know we got lots and lots of requests when we brought out Wild Garden for a lady gardener as well. Lots of people have friends who are keen gardeners and devoted gardeners. Um, and it's nice to sort of be able to create cards or memory books even, or home decor pieces or all sorts of things with die sets that kind of give you that story, that give you that familiarity where right, it could be your hobby or your friend's hobby. What I really love, let me just show you again about the devoted gardener, she could be anyone. Because her sun hat is tilted down, it kind of obscures the face and things like that, which is lovely because you can then imagine yourself as the devoted gardener. You can imagine your friend as that devoted gardener. And I really think that's a lovely nuance when it comes to carnation die sets. Viv says, can any tell, anybody tell me what the wheelbarrow is? set is in please thanks yeah viv the uh, wheelbarrow is in peace and quiet which is a collection uh, available not only on our website but also coming back to air on monday with create and craft so here we've laid down the first solid color this lovely sort of deep sage green as our initial mat and layer uh using finger lift tape because these are going to be in the background okay these are just forming the backdrop for our story and you see there, all I was doing was folding over the carrier sheet on the tape, positioning my background and then peeling the tape away. And it gives me this lovely positioning. What I'm also used, and this is something, if you guys don't have these already, do consider adding them to your basket because they really, really work so well at creating frames. This frame, um, so not only the outside, but also the aperture as well, has been created using the oversized squares, which are a collection of nested dies that lead on from the original nested squares, but they go up to an eight by eight size. So when you're cutting things like your mats and layers, or you want the ability to align and create apertures and backdrops, create frames, these are a really great way of doing that. So the frame itself, cut from the lighter colour of the um, sort of creamy colour in the Perfect Papers from Wild Garden. I have raised that on, um, let's just have a look, two mil foam tape, just to give it a little bit of lift, but I'm not going to stick it down yet. What I'm going to do first off is start positioning um, the story. And I want to create this kind of backdrop, this world in which our gardeners live. So first off, their house. And you see, as we start adding in, the lovely um, die cuts here, this beautiful coloured artwork, it really starts drawing you into this world. So we've got our house in the background. Now our house at the moment looks like he's floating in the air, but we're going to create a gardenscape in front of them. So I'm just going to grab, I'm not going to stick anything yet, I'm going to grab and position just until I'm happy and lining everything up, just checking that we're keeping everything nice and straight. Then when I'm good to do so, we're going to go in and start sticking but I kind of want to create this um, allotment style kind of tiered garden effect so these little struts these little fences and things and brickworks and all sorts of goodies that we've got going on again are from the wild garden collection some little bricks here Let's add in almost like a little divider so imagine that you're creating um, a trellis and then let's have a fence in the background. So you're kind of obscuring the house, but what that's going to create for you is um, a garden scene into which we can start adding all of our plants that these gardeners are going to be working with. Okay, so we don't worry about covering the house up. We're just adding in. And along our trellis, we are going to have some leaves and these are from the wild garden stepper now it is worth mentioning I, I do see a lot of queries coming into group how do we construct the wild garden stepper i've deliberately chosen not to create this demo on the wild garden stepper simply because there are already a lot of how-to demonstrations on our uh, youtube channel on how to put um, the stepper design cards together be it the vintage stepper or, or the taking flight um, they construct in the same way essentially just run through it very very quickly you take the outermost die 
largest die within the pack. Cut it twice from a heavyweight cardstock. Um, I re always recommend 350 GSM Perfect Smooth cardstock from Carnation. And then there's little tabs at the top. You just fold those in and stick the tabs together. It's as simple as that to create your stepper, but I, I will include links uh, to the how-to video uh, later on this evening so you can see those as well. Okay, so it gives us a, a general idea of how we're going to start building this little scene, okay? Eventually, we're going to have Mr. Gardener just inside the frame. So again, creating that sense of perspective, he's going to be there, but we want our lady kind of front and center. We want her to be the real sort of draw on this card. So we're going to place her outside the frame. And do you see how instantly all impact is on her? The rest of the frame, because it's inside the frame and it's contained, is our backdrop. And all the focus is in the front on our lovely lady gardener there. So it gives you a rough idea of where we're going. We're going to start sticking. Now we're going to start going along and making sure we're happy with placement. So I'm just going to gently lift these out. If you're sort of struggling with placement or composition or anything like that when it comes to creating your scenes, have a little play. Have all your die cuts out in front of you like we do during the Facebook Lives. And then what you can do is lay things down without sticking. Take a photo, perhaps on your mobile phone or something like that, as a reference point, And it gives you something to come back to, OK? Right, we're just going to take the frame out a second holding that uh, house in place because that's almost going to be like our little anchor that's going to be our start point and we're going to grab some of our everyday glue these elements that are going to sit in the background we don't want to raise them up with um pin flare or three-dimensional glue or, or foam pads or anything like that they are going to be our backdrop so we want to stick them nice and flat just ungunging my glue there and popping a little bit out onto my multimedia mat love these little wells in the mat because they just contain everything rather than me getting things all kind of stuck to my elbows and things like that it just contains my mess uh, in there and also great if you're sort of into your art for holding your watercolors or mixing your paints and things like that as well so all the time I am holding that house just going through dabbing a little bit of glue using my glue applicator so I can get a nice fine application and then, then sticking that. Once we've got it stuck, obviously I don't need to hold it anymore, but we can then go in and then just stick further areas as well, just with a little bit of glue in areas to hold that die cut down to the backdrop of the design. I'm gonna have a quick scroll back, make sure I'm not missing any questions. Barbara says, die ordered, vignettes printed, cannot wait to make a card for a special friend who loves gardening. I love that. I think that's really brilliant. I think, yeah, you can see these die sets and how they cut out and what we can do with them. And it's just it's just so lovely to start imagining the kind of cards we're going to make with them. June, similar here, she says, already downloads the re vignettes ready. What are we like? I think it's good to be organised. I love it. Really, really great. Okay, so that little house is stuck. I'm just going to bring in that frame again and I think you know what I think we can take a chance I think we can probably now stick that frame in place so the same as what you've seen me do for the uh, finger lift tape we're going to take just the carrier sheet of the foam and we're kind of folding it over to make a little tab on the edge I'm not going to worry too much about sticking these two side bits down really I just want to get in there and get your your demo for you just having the ability to pop those little carrier sheets over the edge allows us to go in, line things up, hold our frame in place and then peel away and stick. So we're not having to, you know, commit to that stick. We've got time to sort of um, adjust and, and level things up before we go in and stick. Now, a really great tool for perspective is have things like your house pushing underneath the frame, okay? It gives the... Um, sense that there's more going on outside the world of just this frame but it also builds in um, more of an emphasis on size and perspective so the house is obviously a nice large size house but you're cutting into a section you're cutting into just a small part of this world that's going on along the front are the little panels here um janet says hi could you say the papers are 
I ordered the Lady Garden this morning. Um, I'm not entirely sure on the question, Jeanette, but if you mean the solid um, colours that we're working with, these solid colours are from the Perfect Papers collection for the Wild Garden collection. And then this textured background paper is one of the backing papers also within the um, free to download backing papers from the Wild Garden collection as well. So what I've done, I've got our Devoted Gardener to work in the foreground and then I'm creating a backdrop using elements um, all from the Wild Garden collection as well. Hopefully that answers your question. Just type again and I'll, I'll watch the comments to make sure um, I've answered that correctly for you. I'm going to use, what am I going to use on this? Yeah, a little bit of glue, only a tiny bit because I don't want it sort of stuck fast because I want to be able to go in and adjust. So I'm just going to tuck the very edge of that underneath the frame and then we're going to come in with the brickwork. Okay, so we're creating this kind of step terrace. So we want to nestle that down underneath the frame. Oh, Jeanette, I said thank you. <laughs> Good, thank you, Jeanette. Glad I managed to answer that correctly for you and that you're able to find those backing papers. I'm just going to lift. Oh, no, don't, don't start that look. Go back to where you're supposed to be. Lift and tuck. So again, it's just taking the time to make sure we're tucking things so they're straight against the level of the frame that we've created, but also so that there's no um, background sort of peeping through. So it's just like there where we need to nudge that brickwork down. Because um, we want to give this sense of grounding. If there's areas where the brick, brick brickwork, goodness me, that is a slight mouthful, um, you don't want you just want to be able to cover it up um so it gives you more of a consistent look to the brickwork panel um carol says hi hannah and fellow crafters from a cold but sunny derby placed my order at 7 a.m oh you lot are really good honestly i know those orders are going to be already winging their way to you which is fantastic and hopefully uh, mr postman will be delivering that very quickly to you as well and then just nestling that brickwork down again yeah taking the time just to make sure you're covering up the next level and I love these bricks from the wild garden collection because you really can build a whole wall the shadowing on it is just immense it's so so beautiful we've also got the little uh, sort of stretch of delicate fence panel here which is going to rest on top of my bricks and again this is where things like the everyday glue and the glue applicators really come into play because even with that ever such a fine die cut I can go in all the way along with my glue applicator and dab just a little bit of glue to make these things stick wonderfully notice I'm only applying glue to one edge I'm leaving the rest of the die cut open and free so I can slot things behind it and we're just going to nestle that on top of the bricks like so Christine says I placed my order at 12 uh, sorry, five minutes past 12. Oh my goodness, AM. You guys are so brilliant. That is awesome. Okay, so just nestling. So we want this one to kind of look like a, a trellis. You know how they, they sit and um, not completely obscure, but you, you get that wonderful look that they are there just sort of sectioning off this foreground of the garden against the backdrop of the house there. So again, just lining everything up doubling those trellises up like so. I haven't glued them because we're going to slip these leaves over the top and I'll use a little bit of pin flare on these and they will then anchor that trellis in place. So you're building up this scene behind. Now I'm just going to quickly move the card out for a second just so I can add a little bit of shaping to my design. So we've got the leaves. These are from that Wild Garden Stepper card shape and we're going to find a little ball tool just give that ball tool a clean and oh goodness me dropping things we're good we're fine <laughs> and we're just going to shape that out so I'm just taking the ball tool and just gently following the line details that are in the die cut itself 
And you see how that paper then curves up. So I'm using my, my ball tools for the appropriate size. Within the pack, you get several different sizes, which I think is great because it really gives you um, lots and lots of scope. And I'm using my foam mat. And again, it, lovely things about Carnation Crafts, they really think about what they're bringing us. That foam mat just sits beautifully nestled within these little divots on the um, multimedia mat as well. Same with the other one just shaping. Now you notice all of the vignettes, all of the coloured artwork that I'm using. When I turn it over you have got um, all of the coloured artistry on the back um, as well as on the front. That is because we use what we call a mirrored vignette. So when you do download uh, even your devoted gardener and things like that you'll have the uh, standard vignettes whereby you get just the one direction uh, and then the mirrored vignettes as well. Again we have how-to videos on the YouTube channel how we create that look and we just shaped. And Lane says, I've just scared my dog half to death. I'm so sorry. Do you know what? It scared me half to death as well. <laughs> I, it sounds ridiculous, but I don't have any blinds or anything on um, the windows on the front of my studio because um, obviously natural daylight is, is a lot easier to work in um, <laughs> during daylight hours, of course. Um, but the problem this morning was the light was streaming literally through the windows and it, you literally couldn't see anything on on the counter in front of me it was completely bleached out um so i had to construct <laughs> sounds ridiculous construct a little fort around me um and obviously the construction was was pretty poor um because the fort has now collapsed but luckily the sun has gone behind some clouds and moved up out of the the window space there so we're not being blinded by the sun now so apologies for anyone's dogs or cats I scared I am um, I did scare myself with my fork collapsing there honestly it's all go behind the scenes here okay so a little bit of pin flare just on those leaves we're going to hold that trellis in place and lift and we're just going to tuck that in so now we've kind of got this look that these leaves are growing over the trellis so this could be um, all sorts of different kind of wonderful things that you could find in our keen gardeners and our devoted gardeners garden and just by adding that shape it gives a little bit more of a realistic look to your die cuts and your vignettes as well just again using that pin flare uh, the reason why we like to use a pin flare is it wherever we've shaped it keeps that roundness it keeps that height it keeps that dimension going as well and we're just coming in and sticking at both sides so you're kind of covering up that trellis and giving this backdrop of the leaves now my, my bricks are going for a wonder so let's use our glue applicator and a little bit of our everyday glue now we've got everything in place we can stick that more firmly down okay and really I mean you could bring any number of the beautiful floral um dyes that we do into this design as well I mean they would look spectacular wouldn't they perhaps the the climbing jasmine up one side perhaps the roses perhaps your devoted gardener um it could be a friend who loves um cultivating their own roses and, and that sort of thing it's just just really great um what's next what's next oh well obviously Hannah our gardener needs things to garden don't they so we've got some uh little elements those are from the little bird bath within the wild garden we've got carrots here I'm just gonna lay those out in front of me so I can choose what we're growing where carrots I've got a leek I've just spotted a leek let's have you as well and potatoes of course let's go with that let's have a selection out now i'm going to grab my tweezers for this and i'm going to have these carrots along the very front because i just i think they're so comical those little tops of the carrots just so cute so we're gonna let's space them because i do think our devoted gardener perhaps not our keen gardener with his crocs and his socks but our our devoted gardener she looks like she knows what she's doing she's going to have her carrots all lined up in a row isn't she she's going to have everything beautifully positioned even spaced out so this whole garden is going to be an absolute feast for the eyes okay so let's see we've got four carrots let's just space those out a little bit more so again, because you're using those mirrored vignettes, you can have the stalks of the carrot, oh, stalks, they're not as stalks, are they? They're leaves on the carrot. Just going in the opposite direction to give that little bit of point of difference as well. Once we've spaced, we can go in 
and stick. And I'm going to use my tweezers just because these are a slightly smaller element. But again, just sticking the bottom of those carrots into the design like so. Um, Annette says, I have the foam mat and tools. It's fabulous. Yeah, Annette, it's really great, isn't it? And I think, do you know what? It adds so much dimension and shape and a really lovely professional finish to your card designs, doesn't it? And all your little die cuts and things. Karen says, loving the carrots. Yeah, they're fab, aren't they? They squished a little bit of glue. Good job our everyday glue dries clear. A little bit just on those carrots. The reason why I tend to only stick areas and leave the rest of the die cut um, free of glue is because when you get a little bit of movement on the card, uh, it just then, the elements then flutter and things like that, which is really, really nice. And then this last little carrot in the opposite direction, just a little bit of glue and just tucking that down. So they really look like they're growing in front of our little wooden uh, panelling there, don't they? The potatoes we're going to have on the next level in front of the brick because I do feel potatoes grow, or the leaves from the potatoes, the plant of the potatoes grows a little bit taller than what the carrots do. So again, just lifting the fence there and now you've got your potatoes growing up into your trellis as well it's just about creating a little bit of a background it's just creating that kind of story around this kind of allotment style and design again a little bit of glue just on that bottom leaving the rest free <laughs> Teresa says that's it I've been naughty well Teresa if you're going to use it and you're going to have fun with it is it really that naughty? I don't know. I don't think it is. I think it's a really lovely, lovely die set to be working with. So again, tucking that little potato. <laughs> she says, I've ordered the whole set. It's a really useful set. I mean, this is going to be great for all sorts of um, cards and not just like, um, you know, birthdays or, you know, your, your standard cards. It could just be because you want to send a just because card. And don't forget with Carnation Crafts, we have a completely open angel policy. You are absolutely welcome to make and sell as much as you like. Um, as long as you are cutting the vignettes, so the coloured artwork out using our dies, you are welcome to make and sell as much as you like. Let's have a little leak in the middle there. Again, you know, think about funny sentiments you could add. You know, your leaks and your carrots. You could really go to town on the puns and things, couldn't you? <laughs> I think that would be really funny. Okay, so we've got... Mr. Mr. Gardner here. He's going to be in the backdrop. I'm just going to see whether I want to add in any more leaves or anything like that because we could have the leaves coming up either side of the design. But you know what? I think I quite like it without. I think I like it in the more sort of paired back design. But of course, it gives you options if you wanted to decorate your frames with the panellings, with the detailings. You've always got options there as well. Okay, so King Gardener, sorry Gardener, I'm just going to move you to one side. We need to shape him out. So we're going to turn him over. We're going to grab a couple of the other size ball tools and just give him a little bit of shaping down his legs and his head and all that sort of thing, just to really bring this die cut to life. And notice how we're using different size tools. These are all available within the uh, ball tool collection just to go in and shape the different elements from our design and just giving it a little bit more lift like so bringing that back in so our gardener he's going to be off to one side I might have to give him a little bit of a trim to get him underneath the oh no we're good we are good but at the moment it's kind of like you've got space and it's a bit detracting where you've got the green showing through so what we can always do is use a couple of the longer line elements these are from the little bird bath again using that idea that things are coming out of the edge of the card growing wild that sort of thing just to cover that little space there now it doesn't detract as much when we pop our little gardener in place. So let's stick those down. 
again using our glue applicator and our everyday glue just sticking as we go I will use my tweezers just to get that into place because then I've got hands free to lift the frame and you're kind of connect connecting the elements there you're getting all that detailing just in like so where did my other little piece go there we go that my wild garden's getting so wild I'm losing my my die cuts in it now and just a little bit more glue on there and also just just positioning so you get the overlap between the edge of the um sort of plants here and the edge of the fencing so it softens that line you don't get then harsh cut off on the designs next in our wild gardener i'm not going to put any glue on him i'm going to nestle him in first get him in position just in the backdrop remember how we were saying he's now nestled into the design so he's part of the backdrop he's part of the background once we're happy with how he is so he's digging one of his carrots which i think is is good work that he's doing we're just going to switch him back add a little bit of pin flare just to anchor him in place and then of course the piece de resistance our wonderful devoted garden i love how just she just really is highlighted in the front of that card similarly just so i'm not going to get any areas whereby there is anything detracting in the background i'm going to use this little uh, die cut this side similar to how we did on the other side just to soften the lines on the edge here uh, jan says is the background a free download please uh, sorry to ask i just arrived home from work it's no trouble that's what we're here for um, Jan, to answer your questions and to give you detailings. Yes, so um, as we've mentioned, the coloured papers, so the solid colours, are the perfect papers from the Wild Garden collection. And then this textured background is so as forming the backdrop with all the leaves and things like that. That is a free to download backing paper from the Wild Garden collection as well. So just hop on to the, the vignette downloads for that and you shall find that backing paper there. Carol says, please, can I ask what size the card is? Yeah, absolutely. So this card that I'm creating is an 8x8 card blank. And as mentioned, we've trimmed down the initial mats and layers and then the frame has been created using the oversized square designs as well. Um, Mirjam says, what is the name of the frame? Wh which frame do you mean, Jan? Can you can you just clarify that for me? Do you mean this this frame that we're working in or do you mean the the sort of vine frame just just clarify that for me because um they're they're two different sets the the cream one that I've created the aperture in is from the uh, oversized squares which are a nested collection of square die sets they are specifically developed to go up to an 8x8 size which is great because it gives you so much more scope on your larger size card bases and of course making apertures and frames like we're doing here um, but also they lead on from the previous nested dice of the square so you don't get any repeats in them which is great it just gives you an extension of sizes if you mean this frame so the vine frame that is from the wild stepper card shape the cream there we go <laughs> it's from the um oversized squares so i cut the frame myself uh, from the oversized squares there we go okay so here we go devoted gardener on she goes so i've already shaped her out again just following the line details just going to add a little bit of pin flare in areas where she's going to be anchored and areas where we've given that shape as well remember using our ball tools and foam mat the pin flare the three-dimensional glue gel just keeps all of that wonderful shaping and there she is tending to her garden she's perhaps um i don't know what would she be planting in her pots maybe she's transferring her seedlings from her pots into her garden it's the kind of we're coming almost up to the time of year we can start doing that isn't it Pearl says, I ordered a new die earlier today, can't receive, wait to receive it, it's got a project in mind for it. Oh, Pearl, we very much look forward to seeing your projects and things that you're creating. Don't forget to share them in our Facebook group, Carnation Crafters. So I think 
we're going to leave that there of course if you wanted to you could add a sentiment up top or of course an insert in the card for example which i think is really really great because it just gives you so much scope to design this actually which do you know what this would also be really lovely for um and if the posties do do crack on quite quickly and you've already got the um keen gardener wouldn't this be nice for um, a masculine valentine's day you know, it could be a really lovely hobby that you you guys um, enjoy together at your allotment or in your garden, for example. But I think that's a really pretty look. Leanne says, I love the new dye. I would love to get it and all the collection too, which I did not get, but I can't afford it at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry, Leanne. It's something to put on your wish list though, isn't it? Um, I know how wonderful carnation crafts are, so they are more than likely to bring out another lovely set soon, um, but maybe another time. Yeah, we, the lovely thing about carnation, Leanne, is we don't retire anything. So right back from three years ago when we originally launched, those dyes are still available. So it's something to put on your wish list and perhaps come back to uh, save up for or maybe ask for a special birthday or something like that. Um, Karen says beautiful as always. Thank you, Karen. That's really, really kind. I just love it. I think it's a really lovely uh, look, a really, really lovely styling and just so, so beautiful. So we're working with the Devoted Gardener. Here she is front and centre stage on our card design. She is our brand new uh, Crafter Select die available today as today's deal of the day. Don't miss out because that offer of 23% off is available for today only for 24 hours. Uh, a normal price for her is $12.99, but today is today's deal of the day. She is $9.99. Just head on to our website, carnationcrafts.co.uk, and go on over to the deal of the day home page. The rest of the collections, everything that I've used, including the, the papers here, are all from the Wild Garden collection as well. What I will do let's turn the camera around first off i will take a photo of that card and pop that up in um group for you guys to see if you want to copy it exactly you are more than welcome to do so that's all part of our completely open angel policy um but of course i cannot wait to see your takes on this brand new die set devoted gardener from the crafter select range we will be back um i'm just trying to think on monday so um i myself will be back on valentine's day on Crate and Craft uh, with the Peace and Quiet collection. So it's a back to air show. And actually, do you know what? She would be amazing with that collection as well. Um, so it'd be well worth tuning into that to see the different uh, ideas we've got that she could work beautifully into. Uh, and then um, Carla will be launching our new collection, uh, New Light, on Thursday next week. Uh, I think she'll be having a, a Facebook Live to launch that as well. And then I'll be back on your screens on Friday. <laughs> I had to think, I had forgotten uh, with demos from New Light as well. So you get the best of both worlds, both Carla and myself demonstrating for next week. Oh, and the next Facebook Live um, is on Tuesday, actually. Um, I don't know whether we've confirmed what it will be, but keep checking the events pages and you will see what we'll be working with with that as well so until next time guys stay safe take care and i shall see you all very very soon Bye bye